everybody! This is Chris Katie, and I'm here with my boyfriend Mitchell, and we are here to unbox the July Japan crate, so let's get right to it. So, first off, we have... Show them how it is now. Like, oh, it's, like it's really cool! It's like it's a little booklet, and it opens like a manga would, so it's really neat. And you read it right to left, sort of. And... Oh, is this Hebrew? No! <laughs> 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 yeah. Alright. So first up, we have in the mini crate, Chameleon Candy. Hard candies that change colors like a real chameleon. Choose the red one and the chameleon grants you good luck. Let's get a red one. They got red, uh, yellow, and green. Let's stop like. Nice. I want the red one because it'll match my hair. Did you get the change recently? I did. I did. It is now... Oh, that's why. Because they're all... Oh. oh. They're all... They all look like grapes. Yeah, they all look like grapes. Oh. Let's, let's look... Oh, they're they're like very pearlescent almost. Yeah, I got a sheen. Mmm. Tastes like a gobstopper. Yep. I'm a teeny bit like a um. No, that, that's a Wonka gobstopper. That is no, that is a gobstopper. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, they actually changed color. Oh. I may have ruined mine, because, uh, it looks red, I guess? I'm not sure what mine is. Oh. Uh, oh. Yellow or green? Looks green to me. Hmm. Interesting. And mine was red. <laughs> oh, you got the good luck! Nice! I had to bite through it. <laughs> yeah, really. I, I made, like, a tiny bite in mine. I didn't crunch all the way down. That's quite fine. So what's next? Next up we have the Potecoro cubes. And it says you might recognize the dog from the cover. Savory bite-sized cubes of gold black pepper. Ooh, sounds interesting. Like actual black pepper? This is gold black pepper? Oh. I'm interested. I mean, I, I like I like the hot pepper candy, but... Yeah, I'm very... Oh, they're like little corn snacks. Oh. Or... Oh. I guess like fry, uh, dried potato pieces. Mmm. Mmm. Not as strong as I thought it would be. No. It's really subtle. I mean, they're good. Yeah, usually pepper makes me cough, but this is pretty good. Yeah, it's just a little potato cube. Yeah, it's really tiny. It's like the fry bits. You want more bits? I do want more bits. Thank you. Mmm. Those are really good. They are. Alright. Moving right along. We have the Chew Grape Jelly. It says Japanese jelly in a convenient package. Open the tube from one end and enjoy the grape goodness. So like a yogurt, but not cold? No, I think it's like an actual roll of jelly candy. Oh! <laughs> that looks like a sandwich! <laughs> you can smell the grape right through the plastic. That is so strong. <laughs> it's right. Oh. Wow. Um, <laughs> is there some instruction on this? Well, if it's anything, you just kind of twist and rip. Oh. It's jelly candy. It's like gelatin. It is. I don't mind it. I usually don't like artificial grape. Yeah. But. It's not horrible. It's just not really something I would indulge in. No, it's just gelatin. It is just gelatin. It just tastes like jello. In your tube. That's interesting. Alright. So next up we have the Maken Gummy. Hand gummy shaped after rock, paper, scissors. You'll try a cola or grape hand in one of three poses. Open with a fellow subscriber and see who wins. Oh, wait, we win? What's the win? No, it's like you, you play uh, rock, you paper, scissors. play scissor, against each other. And we got, got a, a hand and star. We got a five. We got we got a star of David and a one of those slapper hands. We got a paper. Oh, star of David. Oh yeah, we did get a star of David, but this is paper, so I guess we would get paper. Yeah. Cool. So we win. We win. Rock players. Rock players. <laughs> Here, you can try one. Okay. Is that more grape? I'm gonna nibble off a thing. Let me go for star of David. 
Mm. This gummy is crazy sticky. Mm. Like a blueberry? Can make like a little. Oh, look! It's a cinnamon bun that's too pure for this world. More like a snail. <laughs> But yeah, it tastes pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing. Not Honestly. as overpowering as the jelly that it was. Want the last bit? Sure. All for you. So, mm. that was all in the mini crate. Yeah. So, next up, we are moving to the original crate. And we have an animal drawing sherbet DIY. Use three colors to decorate animals, freeze, and enjoy. See page 10 or our YouTube channel for more. So Japan Crate actually came to a lot of its subscribers with a survey and asked if they wanted instructions yep. on how to do their DIY kits because uh, sometimes these can be a little yeah. bit challenging even with yeah even the with graphics. the pictures yeah so now they have this really awesome whole entire page of instructions that will guide you through the treat making process which i think is amazing nice job Japan Crate it's fantastic all right so next up we have lifeguard paste. Oh. I love that name. All right, so it says Lifeguard started off as a soda and now comes in many candy forms like this paste. I've never had candy paste. I'm excited. I'm noticing a theme of a lot of jelly stuff. Yeah. Last last month it was gum and now oh, it's lots of too much gum. Ooh, that is like sour apple? I don't know. It looks like a little wasabi packet. So are one of these the joke ones again? Oh, I hope not. If this is wasabi, you're going to know immediately. Oh, look, there's little notches. Okay, I don't want to waste any of it. Do you, like, suck it out? Yeah. Just slurp it. Like, go -gurt. That's very apple-y. Coach, green apple. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this is the most interesting texture I've ever eaten. My hole wasn't big enough, so I really have to push through it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you make a big enough hole. <laughs> that viscosity is something interesting. I agree. <laughs> As it gets all over my chin. Oh, well. I, want, I love it. I really do. This is, like, one of the candies that I genuinely love. It's so good. I'm okay with this, mm. but the amount of work to get it is difficult. <laughs> it do, it's, it does not cooperate. I make you work for it, which isn't a problem. But this isn't sour green apple. It just no, it's just like regular green, green apple. apple. Mm. 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 And also sticky. Very sticky. I was just going to say that. <laughs> okay. So now that we've got that one down the hatch, we have next another interestingly textured candy. It is Azuki Mitsu Yokan, a more traditional Japanese dessert. This red bean snack is sweet with a gel-like texture. Page seven has more details. Oh, close that can. Oh, it's used as filling in mochi. That's oh. cool. And it's a topping on ice cream. And it's a popular hostess gift in Japan. Oh, that's so cool. I love how we're learning about the culture. That's so neat. I can see why it's a popular hostess gift. It looks like something you would eat at Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, it looks like cranberry sauce. What? <laughs> well, it's red bean. Oh. So it's, it's not supposed to be super sweet or sickly sweet. But it's one of those things that's just calming. Calming? Alright, I can agree. I don't think I'd eat this out of the can. No, <laughs> look at us. I don't think we're doing it right. It's used, it's used as, like, flavoring, and it's used as, like, a topping. So you're not going to just take a spoon and eat this all. It's very beany. So the last item in our original crate is the Choco Bar Z Kinako, and it's backed by popular demand, apparently. It's a crispy wafer stick soaked in kinako, which is soy flour, chocolate, a subtle yet sweet flavor, and the newest flavor in the Bar Z line. Ooh. Yeah, it's more of the wafer candies. Oh, the wafer candies! Oh, I love these. They're so interesting. On the last time, we didn't really appreciate the other one, the pure vanilla kind of powder one. That was weird. This is pretty good. You can really taste the corn, though. Oh. Yeah, it's just a corn snack. With peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut butter, I think. Yep. Mm. It's actually quite good. I like that one. The pure vanilla wasn't really our taste, but I like this one. Last up is our premium 
range of snacks. And first off, we have the interesting kids beer. Now, apparently there's no alcohol in this, but it's a soda. And it was created to uh, help kids be like included in sort of like the drinking without it being alcoholic. So that's really cool. So kids or people who don't drink, this is one for you. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Oh my gosh. This smells like sweets. Like it doesn't smell like It's supposed like to be sangria flavored. It's just a bunch of, a bunch of fruits and wine. It's very easy to make. I like it. It's really interesting. But it tastes like chocolate still. Or is that the corn snack? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be sangria flavored. Uh, no, that, 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 it might be the snack, but it tastes like one of my protein shakes. We'll try it because there's a there's another thing that might clear the does, palate. Yeah, it does say sangria, so it's on the label. It does have the consistency of beer. Mm -hmm. well, we'll just put that off to the side and try it later. Alrighty. So that one is going to have a second chance. Okay, so next up we have we have uh, Calm Potato Chips, and they are a bonus, it says. So they're just corn clouds, and it says Corn Potage, Potage, Potage is a popular soup in Japan, so it's chips based off soup. Okay, if it's melon. Ooh, yes! That's delicious. I'll take one. You look like Lemon Grab's head. Football. That was a surprise. That was really good. You lay it on your tongue and it's just corn powder and corn goodness. But it's so amazing. It has the same consistency as some of like the uh, yeah. like shrimp shrimp things that we usually get. Yeah. This is amazing. Each one of these just really coats my tongue in that corn power. Yeah, it's really strong. All you need to do is just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> As I shower you with my Let me try some of that sangria, or that kid beer. <laughs> Let's just uh, see if it still tastes like it does. The corn might affect it. No, it... It's just so weird. Let me try it. It's like drinking a sweeter, fizzy protein drink. There's definitely chocolate in there. That's interesting. I mean, I like stouts, but mm -hmm. mm. my mouth is confused. I'm a stout girl too, but this is, this, this is not a stout. <laughs> Nor sangria. What I'm is really it? Confused. Tell us below in the comments. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure it's delicious, and I'm glad that kids can get that opportunity to be like adults. I agree. Just may not be our cup of tea. Or sangria. <laughs> Kid beer. Kid beer. There we go. Next up we have the uh, Kajiri Chu. It's a cola taffy filled with a layer of citrus soda flavored taffy. More soda. Interesting. No, no, more like jelly stuff. Jelly stuff. Oh, it looks like a cowtail. It does. Uh, mm. Consistency of a cowtail, too. But delicious. I have no problem with this. Me neither. It's yummy. Usually, like, soda flavored kind of drinks when they try and have that fizz. It just tastes very waxy and very, very chalky. It's true, but there's none of that with this. That's oh, smooth. I love it. And, um, sweet. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, man. You're gonna love this one. So our final, final... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ...piece of treats in this box is sour lemon gum. And it is 10 pieces of super sour lemon gum that will leave you feeling like the lemon on the package. Why don't you show them that lemon? It's lemon right here. It reminds me of bo 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 He does. Oh, good. They're individually wrapped. Wow, that's cute. And does it come with a warning? They each have the little lemon on them. That's cool. Oh my gosh, it does come with a warning. But we can't read it because it's in Japanese. But you know what it says warning? Or? That's a warning symbol. Oh, yeah, that oh, no! rhymes with an exclamation point. Oh no! <laughs> I'm scared. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's like glad scented lemon. Oh my gosh! Look, it's like it's like a little pillow before you eat it. That's it's like one of those little pillows that you rest your head on. It is if you slice a lemon and then layer that all over you. My face is how it tastes, guys. I'm enjoying myself. Mm. This is a very nice, very oh, sour yeah. lemon drink. Oh. Mm. That flavor is strong and it stays. I'm crying. <laughs> is not meant for bubbles. No, it got better. I'm not crying anymore. You don't put it on your lips. <laughs> okay, well. Wow. So guys, that was it for our July Japan Crate. If you want one of your own, you can go to japancrate.com and you can also find them on all of these different social sites. You got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube at Japan Crate and hashtag Japan Crate if you want to show off your own crate. All right, so we had a lot of fun filming this one and we can't wait until August Japan Crate, which will be my birth month. Yay, I'll be turning 21. So that'll be really exciting. And my mouth is still tingling from that lemon gum and Mitchell is still loving his. So that's why I'm talking instead of him. But I'm just kind of going now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sad. But my mouth is just a happy sour zone. You could tell because I stopped as soon as I stopped crying, <laughs> so the flavor went away. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We will keep these unboxings coming for you. And until next time, bye. Take care.